What's up, guys? Polaris Bomb. So, what do you guys think? I think I should have at least cleaned the lenses before I started shooting this video, but got them for five bucks off of a street vendor here in the Bronx, and I thought they were kind of cool. It kind of giving me a Jubilee vibes or something in that in nature. But this is not why we're doing the video. As a matter of fact, let me take these off because I didn't clean them and I have a hard time seeing. But today we're going to talk about Transformers. So Transformers is one toy line that I tried to avoid for many, many, many years because that's just a whole new portal into a whole new dimension of non-stop collecting that I was trying to avoid and not get into. And not to mention the fact that Transformers action figures are quite expensive. I mean, let's keep it real, they are. And sometimes we don't mind spending a pretty penny to get what we want, but damn it, those toys are kind of pricey. But for the past couple of months, I've been picking up Transformer here, Transformer there, and I'm up to like about 10, 11 of them now in my collection, and I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon because now I want the rest of them. It's crazy, but you know what? Let's show off, or let me show off what I got off so what I got so far in my collection, what I've been grabbing out there. And tell me what you think in the comments below. Oh, by the way, before we start, subscribe, support my channel, show me some love. I need some subscribers, I need some new friends. Fellow toy collectors out there, show me some love too. I'll show you guys love. Um, let's share some information, let's trade some toys, let's you know, give each other advice, whatever. Keep each other up to date on things that are going on in the toy collecting community and things like that of that nature. But without further ado, Let's get into the action figures that I bought so far from the Transformers line. So we're going to start off with the main man himself, the leader of the Transformers. And this is from the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron trilogy. I got the man himself, Optimus Prime. Now this is an older figure, came out maybe six months back. But came across it, bought it, never really... I don't think I've ever put it in a video or mentioned that I bought it only because I wasn't too sure if this was something I was going to continue doing or maybe I just simply forgot. But all in all, it's an amazing figure. It comes with the, uh, the, the, the what would that be called? The truck bed or just the back part of the truck or the hall or whatever. But this is it in its entirety. This is the uh, the back art or pictures or whatever. This is the side art, which is amazing. So once again, sorry about that glare. Amazing side art. But this figure is dope as F. Don't want to get monetized, so, you know. Dope as F. And this is Optimus Prime. He's a great size. Um, I think these are six inch figures, but I think he's probably a little over seven. Not sure, but he's going to make a great display piece. And as you guys know, I'm the type of collector that keeps him in the boxes. I know, let him breathe. Everybody said me, let him breathe, let him breathe. But this is how I do, okay? Let me live. Maybe someday I will let them breathe. But till then, or maybe with the proper shelving or display cases, maybe I will. But till then, he'll be just like this. But it's a great figure. So next on, well, let me make some room because I got quite a few that I got to throw around. Put these up here. Okay. Uh, so next I got, and I definitely had to start collecting this line, which is the uh, Studio Series line, only because they have a lot of the G1 versions of these characters, which is what I grew up with and I fell in love with. And especially with the Transformers movie from 1980, is it 1986, 87? Remind me in the comments below. But 1980 something, fell in love with it as a kid and always wanted the figures. But now that I'm older and I can kind of afford them, 
kind of. Yeah, let's call it that. But um, I got me Hot Rod. I know they're coming out with the Rod of His Prime. And that's going to be an awesome figure. But I'm not sure if I'm going to grab it because I already got this guy. And again, you know, us toy collectors, we talk a lot of caca. And we wind up getting it anyways, one way or another. But I did show him off at a previous video because I picked him up during the toy haul. And I was talking about how I loved the color scheme on the guy and how his boots were purple, which I've never noticed that. And it's just altogether, it's an all, all in all, it's a beautiful figure. It's amazing. And anything from the Transformers movie, I want to get my hands on. So working on it. Got a few. You'll see. But that's Hot Rod, guys. Awesome figure. There goes that glare. So what's Hot Rod without his main squeeze, his sidekick, the girl who was always with him in the series and in the movie, and the, probably the first female Transformer to go mainstream on television or the movies, actually, and uh, we're talking about his girl, R.C. Uh, I guess because she's all in white, it it's a little hard to focus on her. Let's see if I get closer. And it's also the lighting I have. But RC is a figure I've always wanted because, you know, when I was younger, my parents didn't believe that boys should play with girl figures and they would never buy the female action figures in the toy lines. And growing up, those are the ones that I sought after the most. And I had to someday own me an RC, and I'm glad I did. The only thing that bothers me about this packaging, and by the way, this is the uh, Transformers Kingdom War of Cybertron trilogy wave. The only thing that bothers me is the packaging is the halfway window. Like, I would like to have the whole figure displayed, and maybe they are on the side somewhere on the bottom. But what can I do? Point is, I finally got an RC in my collection, and I am so excited about that. And I'm happy to have her. Hey, girl, hey. All right, let's move on. So next, I got another Transformers movie character. And I think he wound up in the series afterwards, right? I got to go back and watch him again and refresh. But I think so. But this figure is one of my favorite ones that I picked up because the detail of him is so cool. And he was different back then because he was an older character, like Facially, you know, things like that, that nature, but we got Cup. Cup is cool. I mean, I'm loving the detail in this guy. He's just simply amazing. And by the way, I'm doing this video because I really don't touch base much on Transformers. I'm always talking about Masters Universe and Marvel Legends and DC and, and things of that nature, TMNT and... Power Rangers, but Transformers gotta get love too, man. I love me but some Transformers and Transformers G I Joe go hand in hand. Hello. But the artwork on the side is cool. Check out the back. That's what he transforms into. I think I've also threw him in another video, previous video as well. But this is a Transformers video, so why not throw them all in one video, right? Hey. So we got cup. Good looking figure. Really good looking figure. Next up, we got a G1. Couldn't get my hands on Bumblebee. But the next guy next to Bumblebee was Jazz. This is an awesome figure. I don't remember if Jazz was that short in the cartoon. But it's still, all in all, a great figure. He's probably an inch or half an inch, maybe taller than Bumblebee, I guess. I'm dying to get my hands on Bumblebee, but I got Jazz, and I'm excited to have him in my collection. Awesome figure. Great detail. His car mode is amazing, vintage, nostalgic. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to get Bumblebee. 
By the way, I got mostly good guys because the bad guys come and go, and I, I always miss them for some reason. So hopefully, I get my hands on some of the uh, the baddies soon. But uh, we'll see what happens. So another movie Transformer, Transformers the movie character. Did I say it right? I got a uh, blur. It's funny because he's purple in the picture, but he's blue in the figure form. But in the movie, I think he was blue. And at first, I was I got confused because I wasn't sure if he was Scourge or if it was Blur. But no, it's Blur. Another great figure, though. Talks fast. I think it was the Micro Machine Man who voiced him in the movie. Remember the Micro Machine Man? They used to talk fast. I would... I, I would Get, attempt to try to sound like him, but I know it's not going to happen. I'm just going to make a fool out of myself. So let's just keep it at that and enjoy this beautiful action figure here. We got my man Blur. Awesome, awesome figure. So now. We're going to jump into a different genre, which is also part of Transformers Kingdom, War for Cybertron. But when I say different genre, these are based on the G1 um, Beast Wars characters. So, of course, I had to pick up Optimus Prime as Optimus Primal. I just, once again, wish you can see the whole figure. Since I like to keep up my boxes, it would have been nice to display it that way. So maybe one day I'll be tempted enough to just open up the boxes and display them so you could get a better look at them. But till then, this is how they're going to be. And here is Optimus Primal. This is a great, great, great figure. And the artwork, amazing. I love that. Nice. In the back, we got him in his robot form and his gorilla form. Once again, the artwork is amazing. And that's Optimus Primal, guys. <laughs> I'm a mess. Now, those are all my good guys. But now we're going to do one more, which is... The last but not least, the collection will continue, and he's, unfortunately, he's the only bad guy I own, the only villain I got my hands on so far, but can't have Optimus Primal without his arch nemesis, and we got the T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, or whatever you want to call it, version of Megatron. Now, this is a big figure, big solid figure, kind of heavy too. But there he is in his dinosaur form. Once again, I wish he could display the whole character, but it is what it is. Let's get a closer look. That face scope is amazing. The whole figure is amazing. The artwork on the side. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I'm a mess. But yeah, that's the artwork is beautiful. Don't know what that song had to do with Transformers, but... Yeah. Anywho, so Megatron, robot form, Megatron, Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex form. Great figure. Reminds me, I want to get my hands on Grimlock as well. I think they're probably the same size too, right? Maybe Grimlock's a little bigger, comes with wheelie. Would love to get my hands on those. So there you go. That is Megatron. Still want to get my hands on G1 Megatron, but soon. Well, guys, that was my little uh, Transformers video. Got to show them love. Transformers, you know, I love everything 80s like most of us do. And Transformers is a big staple of the 80s. It's still big today. And um, they deserve this spot. And I'm surprised it took me this long to really give up and finally just, you know, give in and, and, and buy these toys but now I want more so hopefully I'll do another video on these guys and I'll have more villains and much more cooler characters and um it is what it is but till then guys please show some love down below down below 
please hit subscribe show me some love show a brother some love um you know i don't just do this for me i do this for all of you the same way you guys do it for me we all enjoy basically the same things and uh you know we like to collect at the end of the day we love toys so show some love subscribe hit like leave a comment uh share with your friends and tell me what you think and let me know what you want to see in the next video and till then i love you all thank you for the support and one more thing i got to tell you is peace love and hair grease for your butt cheeks later